Good morning YouTube, this is Chris with VB Tech Support here and um, last night I got the crazy idea to create a computer programming website went ahead and already bought a domain and everything and this will be my first tutorial so I've been up all night fixing up the site making the YouTube channel so now I gotta make a video to upload to that channel and to host onto my website so as you've seen at the beginning of this video we will be doing an introduction into Visual Basic 2010 uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for choosing me to begin your programming career into. So if you are watching this, this is just an introduction. Um, to let you know, weeks to come will be going over very basic stuff that you can implement into future projects. Um, you might not think you're learning a lot, but once you start coding these little programs, you're really going to get the hang of VB.net and how the syntax is laid out of this language. So basically, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to need to download Visual Basic 2010 first. If you don't have it downloaded, just go to my website, vbtechsupport.org, and just click on the VB Visual Basic 2010 download under the Links tab. As soon as you click here, you should have a direct download. This will download this to wherever you want. I recommend putting it under Downloads or Desktop for easy access. So it's called vb underscore web dot exe. Of course, I already have this installed, so I'm just going to go over go over here to uh, Downloads and see if I still have it in my Downloads folder. As you can see, I do still have it in my Downloads folder. What you do, you just run the installation, install what it needs to, and then once you finish the installation, just go ahead and start up Visual Basic 2010. Now this right here is the introduction part of this video. Basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is the layout of the program. There won't be any coding involved. Just get get let you get the feel of the program before you actually start working in it. So you kind of know where everything's at. So when I start talking about something, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, once you start a Visual Basic, you will go to, up to a start page where it says New Project, Open Project. And as you can see here, it says Recent Projects. That will only appear if you actually create a project. So when you click New Project, just make sure you Windows Form Application. This is all we're going to be using right now. I might get into these later on. And just name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this Introduction since this is just an introduction. So basically, once you go ahead and start that up, you're going to get your uh, form here. Now, this is the actual GUI of your project. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface, also known as GUI. So basically, what we have on the whole layout is here's your Solution Explorer. This has the stuff that is inside your program. So if you have multiple forms, they'll be here. You can also view this. And uh, just click show, show all files, and you can view the designer and stuff like that. But we'll get on, we'll get into that later on. This is just an introduction. So if you click on this, as you can see, your properties menu have you have tons of options to do with this: size, start position, the text of it. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how you can change the text of your form. This is introduction, as I said. So this is going to be very basic stuff. So just go ahead and highlight form one and type what you want. So I'm going to put introduction. So there we go, as you can see, it changes up here as introduction. Basically, now what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can add to this form. So this is where the toolbox comes into play. Go over here to toolbox, and you're going to have all these options to pull into your program. You'll have buttons, checkboxes, um, progress bars, timers, labels. I mean, you have endless amount of things you can do. So basically, uh, over here data sources don't really need to get into these we'll get into that later of course as most programs do you're gonna have your open save different functions of that nature um, project you'll have where you can add windows forms you can actually go to your form properties which these will get more in detail as we go along with tutorials so you guys this is basically the introduction to kind of give you a feel of the interface of Visual Basic 2010 so again I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I sure enjoyed making it and I hope you stick with me through all these tutorials and really learn how to code in Visual Basic and you actually learn something from these videos so again guys hope you enjoyed this uh, please write comments and subscribe and don't forget to bookmark my channel and my page Later, guys.